This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 2, which is Web Development, and I'm on Lesson 13. RGB Colors and Classes. Classes. Sometimes you only want to style some specific element of a type instead of all elements of one type. Classes allow for a group of elements to have their own unique style. This applies to elements on the same page or on separate pages as long as the pages are linked to the same style sheet. Oh, interesting. To style using classes, first you need to mark all elements in HTML that will have that will be in that class. Second, you need to write a style rule set for that class. To write a rule for a class of elements, the selector Remember, selector is that thing in CSS, like if we wrote h5 to change up h5, that's what they mean by selector. For the rule set has period. Oh, yep. Before the class name. For example, and that's what we discussed uh, in the last part, part 6. For example, the code below would style the fancy class, which has been set up for a paragraph element. Oh, yeah. So that's now going to style the fancy class, because if in the CS we do the dot, that's going to be the class, and the class here is fancy. And so what they mean by all of this, too, is what if I gave fancy the fancy class, so this paragraph, a border? If I put that class in an image tag, we could also give the exact same border to that. And then also, if I gave the h2 class, a fa uh, the h2 tag, a fancy class, it would also have that border. So they mean you can spread out CSS styling to a bunch of different elements using classes. Oh, and there's more info here, but I think, yep, we can keep going.